Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Gun TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, as I mentioned in the previous video, we're continuing our Ghostbusters week with the Ghostbusters Plasma Series Wave 2, Ghostbusters Afterlife, Trevor. So as you can see, I have already taken him out of the packaging. Uh, he was the first figure I got. My wife found him at Walmart. It was between him and um, him and Lucky. I decided to have her pick up Trevor. I'd get Lucky at another time. Turns out I ended up getting all the figures last night, except for Winston, which I got later today. Uh, we went to... A, we swung by a Walmart uh, that's about half an hour from here, maybe 20 minutes. And they had all of them except for Winston. So today, while I was in, while I was out of town at a, a family function, I swung by Walmart there and found Winston. So let's go over Trevor. After we get done with Trevor, the following day, we will do Lucky, Podcast, Vankman, Ray, and then Winston. And then after that, we'll combine all the collect and connect parts and do the, terror, uh, the Sentinel Terror Dog. So let's go ahead and we'll move Trevor off to the side. As you can see, he does come with the right arm of the Sentinel Terror Dog. It does not, it has no articulation really, except for the wrist and the uh, shoulder joint. That's about it on articulation on the box. As you can see, it's the flight suit design for ages four and up. You got Trevor's name badge, name badge there. I'm wondering if in the movie they're going to go by their put their first names on the name badges, uh, name patches instead of their last names. In uh, Ghostbusters one and two, they had the last names, but since Trevor and Phoebe are brother and sister, they're obviously going to have the same last name. So I'm willing to bet at the end of the movie they'll probably end up. Uh, getting their uh, patches with their first names on them. As you can see here, it says Plasma Series right under Trevor's name. Hasbro. The Ghostbusters logo there. And excuse the mu music in the background. I'm in the garage filming this. There's a little bit more space to work with out here. So I do have the window open and kind of hear things from the outside. So I'm going to try and put some music over this to kind of drown out the bass beats in the background. Anyway, on the back, as you can see here, we have the Build-A-Ghost. Trevor comes with the right arm of the Sentinel Terror Dog. Podcast comes with the torso. Lucky comes with the head. Peter comes with the left leg, Ray comes with the right leg, and Winston comes with the left arm. As you can see here on the top here, uh, let me angle this up a bit, there we go. Trevor, average teenage boy Trevor, loves fast cars, reckless driving, cool adventures, and like stuff. And then you have the same thing in different languages. But as you, here we have the No Ghost logo with the caution tape up top, uh, which I don't believe they had on the Wave 1 figure packaging. It's a little low. 
there. Yeah, I don't think they had that on the Wave 1 package. So I think it's a new addition. You got the Sentinel Terror Dog, you got Trevor Podcast, Lucky, Vankman, Stance, and Zedmore. And then you have the Hasbro uh, logo there in the bottom corner. A nice little Art Deco design of the four new Ghostbusters. And as you can see, Phoebe's wearing the Spangler patch, Spangler uniform. Uh, no one else has name tags except for Podcast, who created a custom name tag. So that's pretty cool. And the inside, you have Proton Pack, Ecto 1, uh, Proton Thrower, and I believe blueprints for the uh, trap as well. So there's that. Let's go ahead and toss that to the side. And we'll go ahead and bring in Trevor. Let you guys get a good long look at Trevor before we go over everything that comes with him and his articulation. So one thing I really like about Trevor is uh, he kind of he's kind of taken after Vinkman in the well he's a little more casual he's wearing his tennis shoes for one uh, so no flight uh, no uh, military boots uh, tactical boots whatever you want to call them so obviously his pants are going to be hanging freely uh, everything else uh, I mean it looks like. He only half zipped his flight suit. Uh, let's go ahead and move the mini puffs out of the way. I just had him hanging across them. As you can see, his flight suit's only uh, partially zipped up. And one thing I really liked about this wave of the Plasma Series figures is the uh, cord for the Proton stream, or for the Proton gun is separate. You can plug it in and disconnect it. There's a hole right on the back there. I don't know if you can see it, but it just plugs right in. If I can get it. Just like that. So that's really cool. And before we go over the rest of his features, he does come with a map of some sorts. Which is cool. Um, in order to keep from losing it, I had it rolled up and stuffed in between him and the uh, proton pack. So, uh, and he does come with four little mini puffs. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure if that's how you're supposed to have them hanging off the front of them like that, but that's what I do just to keep them from getting lost or whatever. Um, it doesn't look like they go, they plug into his proton wand or anything like that. And these proton packs, they do come off just like the Wave 1 Ghostbusters. As you can see here, and let's take a minute to appreciate, let's go ahead and unplug this again. Appreciate the detail of the proton pack. We'll go ahead and set this down there. 
Wait. Maybe. <laughs> Put this back in. There we go. There you go. Appreciate the detail for a little bit there. And now we'll move in to the proton thrower. Proton wand, positron collider, whatever you want to call it. Appreciate the detail of that. And it does have a peg to hook into the proton pack, just like with the ser Wave 1 Plasma Series figures. So we'll go ahead and plug this back in. You just take the end of the cord here. There's a hole right there. Sorry if I'm getting off camera, guys. Like I said, I'm doing this from the side, so. And you gotta kinda come at it from an angle. Plug it in just like that. And then the thrower clip pegs right, right there. So there's that. Now let's go over Trevor. As you can see, Trevor does not have the hose connected to his leg. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm not even really sure what that's for. I don't think anyone is really, except for maybe Dan Aykroyd uh, and Ivan Reitman, and maybe even Jason Reitman. Uh, but everyone else is kind of in the dark about that. <laughs> So anyway, let's go over the articulation. His head can move up and down slightly, turn side to side, and it seems to be on somewhat of a ball joint. Arms go all the way around. Let me get down here so I can see. Okay. And they come out. They are on, um, it feels like a ratchet, a slight ratchet joint, um, ratchet joint at the elbows. And the hands turn, waist swivel, not a whole lot. It seems kind of tight, almost like it's connected by a rubber band. Kind of like the old G.I. Joe's. I don't want to move it too much. Uh, legs go out to there. You got thigh swivel. You got a double knee joint. So he can get pretty good knee bend articulation. No foot swivel at all. And it does not look like these mini puffs plug in where the hose would plug into the leg either. Um, so I'm not really sure. I mean, maybe he holds them or something. I don't know. But let's go ahead and put his proton pack back on. It's a little hot in here, guys. It's supposed to be fall and uh, it's like in the upper 80s here. Probably one of the uh, warmer fall, beginning of falls I've had uh, in central Illinois. And well, before we plug it in, we'll just go ahead and slide this in there just like that. And my table's there. I've got one of those portable desks, so it separates mouse side and the. Uh, side for the laptop so, um, but as you can see there's a peg 
there's a hole in his back and you just plug it in just like that um, go ahead and put this in here real quick and then we'll plug it in just like that All right. Should I think we'll display them with the proton thrower? So let's go ahead and disconnect this. Easiest way is to slide it in his hand from the hose, just like this. That. And then we'll plug it back in. And then we'll go ahead and put the mini puffs back on. Just like so. And there you have it guys. The Ghostbusters Afterlife Plasma Series Wave 2 Trevor. Tune in tomorrow when we go over Lucky. I've been Shannon. This has been Come Again TV. Take care, guys. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side. For more videos just like the one you just watched, I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.